Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, where we left off last time, uh, we had captured a few workers from the swarm, and we uh, had a bit of trouble dragging them home because of the um, mechanics. So, um... It was actually quite interesting getting them home because, well, the uh, Crete, the, the carrier Crete, the shell water, right? It only has 7,000 tons of hangar capacity, right? So I got the five workers and I told them to dock the mothership using the orders. And somehow, all five managed to squeeze into the one hangar bay. Uh... Yeah, not sure. I'm not sure how that happened or how they managed to get that done, but there we go. So we did manage to get all five back home without them falling into bits, which is great. Um, the other issue, of course, the, the fighters, of course, didn't even try to squeeze in there as well. Uh, way, way, way too small. Um, we also had continuous life support failure notifications and had to refuel the fighters continuously and just a major major pain in the butt but we have gotten them home and it's not going to take very long at all to get them scrapped so i'm going to scrap them i'm going to disassemble them hopefully we might get some components and some technology or something i don't know we'll see at the very least we get minerals and bits which is fine. Um, we also have uh, Canberra Prime uh, being full of oxygen now. Uh, terraforming Canberra Prime. Here we go. So we're still down. So we're still at 2.2, but that will do for now. So what are we at? We're at 63, and we have a greenhouse factor. So <clears throat> how are we doing? Nitrogen, we have po almost 0.4 atmosphere. So I think uh, what we'll do is we will go ahead and strip out that methane and we'll see where that where, where that gets us <clears throat> so that will take a little bit over a year uh, but we will get that methane out eventually so we'll see what the production says Oh, yeah, this error keeps popping up because the workers have no crew members aboard, but no crew capacity aboard either, which is really annoying. Um, okay, we've got all the shore leave, which is fine. Four of them should hopefully shut up once the scrapping has completed in a little while. <clears throat> okay, one, two, three scrapped. Um, I think I missed one. Oh well. Okay. Scrap me some workers. There we go. Okay, so we have recovered some magnetic plasma drives. Let's see if we can get anything out of them. Nope. So we'll just scrap them for resources. Uh, what else do we get out of these guys? We got... Well, we got the swarm extraction module. Can we get anything out of those? Yeah, 3,000 research points for swarm extraction, a swarm extraction module. So... Five, eight thousand. Oh, eh, we'll see what we get out of it. Um, do we get anything else? No. Probably should repair that. Uh, repair this worker before scrapping him. So yeah, if you have damaged components on the ship, make sure you get them repaired. Otherwise, um, before scrapping it, because you won't get them back. 
So we'll wait for the other two to finish and hopefully we will have ourselves uh, some more Swarm Extraction Module tech. I'm really not sure if this will ever actually yield us Swarm Extraction Module technology because um, it's not on the list as far as I'm aware. But, no, well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, we're almost got the Combat Engineer as well and Epsilon Shields are coming along. Um, let's go all projects, and it'll probably be on the construction production. Swarm extraction module. Allows a swarm worker to create nests for the queen. Okay. And it requires 100,000 uh, research points, so... Mm. We'll see. We're going to have to capture a lot of workers to use them. Actually, let's see if we can actually give it an order to do something with those modules. Um, no, doesn't look like it. Oh, well. Where's the cargo bay coming from? Oh, right. The uh, Bandicoot has a cargo bay. Um, either way, even if we could use them for something, the um, the constant errors would just be too annoying. <clears throat> okay, that's one scrapped. Where's the other? Uh, are you kidding? Okay, we're gonna have to go scrap the other one again. Hmm. Weird, it's gone. Could have sworn there were two of them left. Oh well. <clears throat> Oh no, it did scrap both of them. Okay. So, ADEP, Magneto, scrap, some extraction, disassemble, disassemble. Alright, so we've got another 8,000. So we've got 16,000 points out of 100,000 points. So, yeah. Ah, that's because it was two times. Okay. Um. Just got a little bit outside. Okay, so that is one swarm nest wiped out. What are our explorers doing at the moment? Uh, this guy is rewinding the maintenance, looks like. Yep, overhaul. Uh, this guy's doing survey. This guy's doing survey. This guy's almost finished overhauling. Oh, we'll put these guys. We'll send these guys back to the salvage fleet. Uh, that's a tanker. That can stay. And that can stay. All right, let's keep going.
Okay, there's combat engineer, but battalion. We'll get the unit strength of 16, which will, I think, 4,000 research points. And then after that, we can probably uh, shift those um, labs across to the other subjects. How are we doing for production on Earth? Because we did have that worker so worker shortage, but the, we have moved those mines. So minus tw okay, so we're only twenty eight million short. Four hundred ninety eight. I think we lost two mines somewhere. Uh, we'll wait for the wait a few more days for uh, any um, civilians to finish doing what they're doing. Okay, got a few more marine companies for, just in case. Uh, how is it, how is the construction of Stuart coming along? All right, well at least we've got all 100 factories there, 68. So. Uh, we're about a month, almost one to two months off. Not too long. But you, you, you can see now that we are starting to run into civilian slowdown. When we first started, the five-day turn used to take seconds. Now it takes probably close to a minute. Oh, half a minute, maybe. Hmm. Keep on going. I think what I might do is get some more explorers out so we can explore faster. We only have five at the moment. Ooh. What's happening here? Oh, right, we haven't docked some of the fighters. Uh, okay, put these two in there. And sign and recover. Uh, just very quickly, which Zim suffered the breakdown? This one. Just want to try something. See if it'll do damage control via the carrier. Because you can't repair fighters, you see. So the shipyards won't work on them. Ah, there we go. Right, so a fighter will use uh, damage. We will use maintenance supplies from its mothership while docked, uh, but you do need to um, initiate the repair through damage control. 
And I think that one of our Tobruks also lost an engine. There he is, yep. So we'll go ahead and get that patched up as well. We'll see if a PDC, how a PDC works. Because the PDC doesn't actually have any supplies. <clears throat> but it is currently docked to the PDC. Right, okay. So how are we going to do this? We could dock it to Shoalwater. No, no storage. Hmm. Uh, let's go just check real quick. Yeah, there is no MSB storage at all. So using PDCs to store fighters is all good and well until you um, have damaged ones. So I think it will be worth very worthwhile to have uh, at least a small 1,000 ton hangar ship with no engines um, and MSB storage that can actually be used to uh, repair your fighters. So just keep that in mind. If you do have a planet-based PD or PDC-based um, fighter complex, um, make sure that you also have a fighter repair carrier as well. Just a little small one uh, that can actually do the repairs. And hopefully it doesn't get blown up. Oh, when, when we move it to its home carrier... Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, repair it then. Okay, Antonio Betty has finished overhaul. There he is. Okay, we've got G Long here. Uh, let's send him out through the last jump point in Melbourne. Hopefully we'll find something worthwhile. Uh, I will also go ahead and make sure that it's, yeah, actives are on, good. Okay. Our Xeno teams are taking a while to cycle through. I'm mean, sure we only have two of them, but still. Yeah, we've got a Xeno team. Uh, what I might do is I might actually assign a Xeno officer. Uh, 
it's email archaeology here we go and what we need uh, cans a5 here it is no not wild okay and we also had another one that actually has a team on it which I believe is this one in Newcastle, Newcastle 3. There we go. Hopefully, that will help. What? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, cans A5. Oh, it's just not shown. Okay. That's fine. Means it also might not get applied at all, but worth a shot. Plus, there's no real harm. How are we doing on Earth? We've got more construction factories under production. Uh, let's keep working on... No, we can't afford to keep working on anything at the moment. Uh, more importantly, our gala site is about to run out for maintenance. So we're burning about almost 16, 1,600 gala sites per year, uh, which our ships are not, which our maintenance is not able to keep up with. Uh, what is our most expensive Gallus site? The Melbourne, the River, and the Sheehan. So basically our warships. Right. Okay. Time to cut down on some ga on Gallus site. So we are going to make this the... The... Fleet Base. PDC. Yes. Base. Here we go. One hundred thousand tons? No, I think we can do better. A one million ton capacity base. Yeah, I think that's fine. We don't really care about defenses or anything else. So... I will put in one maintenance storage bay. Or three just to see if it can actually store MSP. Yeah, we'll see. And the rest of it's irrelevant. So, close and build PDC, fleet base. Okay, it does not use any site, which is excellent. Uh, it does cost 100,000 build points, so it's going to take about two and a bit years. But, uh, we'll be able to store pretty much our entire fleet, except our carriers. Um, and it'll cut down on the uh, amount of tonnage that we, on the amount of minerals that we need to pay to keep our fleet operational. And Sydney Prime has completed the Stuart. Beautiful. All right. So now we have 737 protection level for the Sydney colonies. Um, that will completely shut them up. Uh, now, let's start work on getting some mines out. Okay. 
So we are producing 6,000 and 5,000. So do we want auto man mines or regular mines? I'm thinking regular mines because we're going to basically have uh, a large amount of population here. So mine. We got production, we got resources. Good. And that's going to take it a few years because production is slow. Um, we'll probably get a couple of mines out per year, which is fine. Um, so we won't, we're won't. we going to want to set a reserve level of for geranium of, let's say, 1,500. And of corundium of 1,500. Okay. And Sydney A, we are going to want... To ship 200 mines here and also a mass driver. Uh, make it two mass drivers. Okay. Sydney Prime is demanding mass drivers. We're going to change that to four only. So that way we're still getting uh, six and how we're we doing. We've got 13 now. Excellent. So we are going to supply six mass drivers to Sydney. Uh, once we have mass drivers, we will get Sydney A4 to fling minerals to Sydney Prime, which will get it a stockpile of galacite. Uh, and then it will be able to set up a, f a small freighter to ship uh, minerals from Sydney to Earth. And that should help in resolving a Galicite situation. Now, um, I mentioned earlier about um, the fleet base being able to store an entire fleet minus the carriers. Um, do not dock a carrier onto into a hangar while it has fighters aboard. Um, a ship that docks into another ship that is carrying parasites will have those parasites deleted. So if you dock a carrier with fighters docked to it to a base, the car the fighters that are docked to that carrier will disappear into the ether. So obviously that is a very bad thing, so don't do that. Alright, how are we doing? We're definitely going to run out of Galacite before we run out of... Uh, before we get fleet base operational. So... Hopefully, we'll get that sorted. Um, what's in here? An absolutely colossal system. Uh, it's already lined up everything anyway, I think. No, Robert Aiken is the one that can't line up. Alright, do a grab survey of Geelong. We've got Broken Hill. So, Broken Hill, Ballarat. Geelong. That's all we are expanding at the moment. Do we have any supply of Galacite coming into Earth at all at the moment? I think we have one mining base that's flinging it. Yeah, Kamasola has... Kamasola needs a lot more mass drivers. Or any mass drivers for that matter. Let's get three mass drivers over there. I don't care how far away they are. Oh, we've got seven leaving. Yeah, we got those mass drivers. I 
just going to go have a look. So, Sydney Prime. No, none of these are uh, archaeological digs. Alright, and A4 is slowly starting to decrease unrest as well, which is fine. Okay, there is ground units. So now we will redistribute these 10 labs into something more practical. So we've got a sensors guy, we've got a power and propulsion guy, we got missiles kinetic, we've got well, we don't really care about this at the moment. We've got an energy weapons guy, we've got a defensive guy, we've got a construction guy. <sighs> yeah, let's go for genome. Just so at least I can show you because yeah, so we just can cover all the basics. Personally, I don't really use it very often um, because it's only a big. I, I prefer to just terraform my planets outright, um, but <clears throat> they can can be can be useful to um, sometimes re-engineer your race. Uh, camera five is finished overhaul. All right, so where are we sending you? Fremantle's a little bit far out. Cairns is closer, but I don't really want to explore through there. Um, we could go out Sydney way, but I don't want to expose Sydney at the moment. Newcastle, I think we're... You know, we've got colonies there. We've got a guy already exploring Bendigo. That's a dead end. No, it's not. We do need to explore this way. Okay. Let's go do a geo survey that way. Alright, so Rockhampton, Townsville. And uh, do we gonna want to go out Darwin at Southport? Let's go to Southport because there are colonies there and we can use it as a, a base a fleet basing station okay Might have to do something about getting rid of those civilians. Alright, goes beat one, do a grav. You're not going for, for Comet 6, are you? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. It's got the range easily. Uh -huh. Everything else is fairly straightforward, nothing interesting happening. <clears throat> Do we have those mass drivers on Comasola yet? Yes, we do. Start slinging. All right, all three are there. So the titanium I don't really care about, but the galasite is going to be um, critical to get back. So our production is well below 15,000, so we should be able to start decreasing the 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 stored minerals <clears throat> and 26,000 gallocyte is not much, is nothing to sneeze at either so or oh, 22 there you go so sending a hundred of each 100 tons each which is great
Hmm. Just want to check something. Five times one hundred seventy. Okay, so it does split the total yearly capacity across all available minerals. All right, so when you're slinging, um, you want to make sure that your your annual capacity here lines up with your annual production here. So uh, for every 5,000 here, you need to make sure that you have one driver. Uh, and that will ensure that you have your entire stockpile being uh, sent. So we're producing 7,000, so two drivers would be sufficient. Um, but I sent the third one over there to try and bring the um, the mineral count down and get it back home ASAP. So we don't uh, completely starve of galacite. Obviously, our requirements are going to be substantially less um, when our fleet base is finished, but that's going to take a few years, and we're going to need those minerals. So, 494. And it's going to take a while for them to actually start arriving, but oh well. Oh, they're already there. All right, so that is now starting to climb again, which is fun. Um, you'll notice that um, this count does not factor in any incoming mineral packets or anything that's sending minerals to the planet. So even though our galaxite count is going up, um, it's still considered red because it doesn't expect anything to arrive. So it doesn't think that we have enough. I think scrapping some of our combat ships might be worthwhile as well. At least for now, until we do find something. I mean, with with pre-produced engines, we should be able to um, get ships out pretty quick anyway. Just wondering if that is a good idea. All right, what do we have on our fleets? So we've got several rivers. We've got several missile boats. And we've got several beam ships. I think we might get rid of two Melbans. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of two Melbans. Um... Which two are the least impressive? You got rivers. Here we go. Okay, so this one killed a few Mings. This one also killed a few Mings. Wow, right, this one killed a lot of Mings, so Massive is definitely staying. Mongrel got a Mongrel Pitbull. They've all got impressive histories. Uh, Puffin and Poodle, I think I'm going to get rid of because they're not exactly very impressive names, I think. Plus, they're the oldest anyway. Okay, Puffin and Poodle. Are going to get dismantled. Poodle and Puffin. Yeah, they're basically going to need an almost complete refit um, anyway because they'll have new lasers, uh, new power plants, new engines, um, new probably new sensors as well, and I'll, you know, I'll basically be stripping out. Of course they show up. 
Rockhampton. Rockhampton. Where's Rockhampton? Rockhampton is a safe system. Now that is a concern. And that is where I will put a cut. So, uh, tomorrow we will go ahead and find out who these guys are, what they're doing here, and what we um, hopefully figure out where the hell they came from. Alright, see you tomorrow.